Hi YouTube, it's me Jan. How are you doing? Welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be making cheesecake without sugar and without gluten. So let's go and watch this video. Oh no, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. I have a bad news. I lost the clips when I was opening, I mean opening, cutting the cake. But fortunately, I took some pictures of it and these from the outside. I hope that you like this video and let's go and watch it. So here you can see the picture without the decoration and fortunately I took these three pictures, they're not so great but you can see how it looks when you finish and so sorry for losing these clips. So now we're going to see what ingredients we're going to be needing. We're going to need three or four eggs, 300 grams of cream cheese, 80 grams of silitol or any sweetener, and 40 grams of flour, one yogurt, baking powder and vanilla extract. This recipe is very easy. We're only going to start beating up the eggs and we're going to add little by little all of the ingredients. And now we're going to add our ingredients. I'm going to start with the cheese. Little. You can also add coconut sugar, stevia, add the yogurt. To give it a little bit of taste, I like adding a little bit of vanilla extract. You can also put a little bit of lemon. And now you just have to mix it all together until you can see that everything's blended. Finally, we're going to sieve the flour and we're going to add it little by little and mix it again. Mmm, it's looking delicious, eh? Could you please subscribe and leave me a comment below and give me a like. Please, please support this channel. I love you. Now we're going to prepare the mold. I'm using one that is 18 centimeters and I'm going to wrap the base with a little bit of baking paper. And now we have to put some coconut oil or butter at the sides so it doesn't stick. And finally, we're going to put our mix inside our mold. Now put it in the oven for 40 minutes at 160 degrees. And this is how it looks. It looks so delicious, it's so yummy. As you can see, thanks to the coconut oil, it's pretty easy to unmold it. And thanks to the wax paper, we can easily remove it and put it over the plate. And we're going to cut the excess of the paper using some scissors. And last but not least, I'm going to decorate it with some marmalade on top of jam and some fruit. I use this frozen fruit that are amazing and they look great on top of the cake. I'm sorry for losing the clips where I was cutting it. I don't know how it happened, but I can tell you this is so nice and delicious. And because it has no sugar, it's very healthy. Thank you so much for watching. Hope that you subscribe, that you give me a like and a comment and you tell me what other videos would you like to see. By the way, I don't know if you like recipes, but if you like them, please give me a like so I know that you want me to share more of them with you. I'm also thinking about doing a routine on what I eat on a day. Tell me in the comments what you think about this. This is Jenny, 
and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.